Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. How are you? This is your love reading using Tarot. I will be looking at the energies for the current moment, the energies in the near future, and other details as well. If you are new here, welcome, and I invite you to subscribe because I post videos every day. If you like this video, or if this resonates with you, please hit the like button. It also helps the channel a lot. If this reading resonates, I will do an extended at the end of this reading with more details. If you are interested, it can be found in the description box below this video. Okay, let's start. Let's start with what are the energies around you. Some of you dealing with a Leo or will be dealing soon with a Leo, or this is just talking about the uh, summer season. What I'm getting here is that there's some resistance here. Resistance to vulnerability of opening up, expressing feelings, uh, true thoughts, uh, some fears, a lack of security. I think there's love here. There, There is affection, but there's not much transparency around it. And yes, there's motivation. I think... If you have been trying to manifest something, a better love story, I think you have all the power. But what is stopping and what is blocking you is um, this lack of courage. We have Aries here as well. And okay, Five of Cups. There's so much sadness or disappointment mostly about what has happened. This is what is blocking you. This is what is causing this lack of confidence to move forward. I think you have options, but you are not looking at those options or you are ignoring those options. I do see good opportunities here, especially if this is the case, you should try to, to look at those opportunities because they seem good to me. At least two new opportunities are there. They say that one, when one door uh, is closed another door opens and for you for some of you i see one door is trying to be closed but you have some better gifts but let's get more details let's see what is affecting you in your subconscious i think uh, the love the expectation to grow to something uh, to grow a love story to something bigger and better some of you had created a family with an important person and you wanted to keep that love story alive or that family strong and harmonious but it didn't go according to the plan now let's see about what was the main challenge there for you uh, page of pentacles i see a lack of maturity somebody hesitating or not making the necessary steps to progress a situation to the next phase that was the important serious one but the lack of maturity and for some i'm getting that one person here was uh, was just interested only about friendship then or somebody getting friend zoned here Two of Swords, you want to finally make a decision, and especially if you are having opportunities, you want to know what you want to do with uh, with the past, to leave it behind or to still hope about it. You're a bit confused, especially if you feel like they are ignoring you. And uh, it was dramatic. It was um, not an easy connection, in fact, and... That is something you should uh, reflect upon when you think about the past. Yes, not only the good nostalgia, not wanting to be pessimistic, but focusing on why it didn't work, why it was so dramatic. Looking at the pros and the cons of the same situation would make you uh, more uh, accurate on making a better decision. You want, uh, you fear that a connection with them will still be dramatic and very heavy, and uh, not only heavy but unbearable. Now, let's see about the person that is on your mind. Let's see what are their energies. They feel sad about that ending. 
They don't feel good at all. I don't think they have forgotten about this. They have lots of regrets. I think you are mirroring each other. They get a lot of attention from others, but they are not focusing on them. They are trying to heal, they are not doing anything, they are focusing on the past connection with you. They know it was toxic, it was unhealthy, but they still feel that desire and attraction for you. Now, why are they not looking at those new opportunities? Or ignoring those opportunities? Because they are being very logical and they don't see a future there. It is telling me that this person, the person on your mind, is looking for something long-term and stable. And those new opportunities seem very superficial to them why are they so sad and disappointing uh, disappointed about that ending with you because you had big dreams four of wands big dreams about moving in together celebrating the love having something more beautiful and more harmonious there were big expectations from this person as well i I'm not quite sure if you'd expect this energy from this person or not, but that's what I'm getting. Now, if you want more details about them, you can find the extended video in the description box below. But for most of you, I think this is enough to get the, the general impression of their energy. Now, what about the energies in the near future? There's a new chapter being opened here for you and it will be faded. It is positive this means much better luck in love and this will be fair this will be balanced for some of you there will be an attempt to reconcile with an important person from the past i have fixed signs and libra here so aquarius taurus leo and scorpio and libra Yes, it is related to something from the past because I have the Eight of Cups. Somebody that has left you or if there's some separation with somebody wants to make a comeback or wants to re-enter your life, but it seems mostly with the idea of making things right. This is a new phase. I'm not getting a restart of the relationship. I'm getting them trying to enter your life again. Yes, there's so much disconnection there. It doesn't feel like that chemistry or the relationship can be vitalized and be the same. There's a big disconnection there, but the attempt to make things right is very, very strong. And yes, it is uh, related to a past person. Now, for those of you that want uh, details about uh, if there's somebody new, if we have a new story here, so this was about the past person. Can we get information about something new here? Yes, if you are interested for a new connection, I'm thinking that you will be connecting with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. This person will chase you. They have lots of charisma. Uh, they are attractive. They have lots of charm. And they seem very, very motivated here. But be careful, be careful, because I have the Seven of Swords as well. This person might turn immediately into a manipulator if you are not aware or if you don't put healthy, protective boundaries from what you have learned in your experience in love. If it is, or if it seems too good to be true, it is the case. Let's clarify again with that uh, that Seven of Swords or Seven of Challenges. The oldest one. They would seem very mature, like they want to commit, like they want marriage, long-term stability. That is the impression that you will get from them. Your inner voice might tell you the complete opposite, or that that is something what they will tell you, that they are serious now. They're looking for something serious, or they may tell you that they are heartbroken over a past love story. Somebody broke their heart because somebody 
cheated on them. So those are uh, the scenarios I'm getting. So if you are interested about the past person, I see an attempt to reconcile, but I'm not getting a restart of the relationship that fast. Uh, if you're looking for a new person, there's a new passionate connection coming your way, but I want you to be careful. And uh, yes, if you want more details about the past person, you will get the extended in the description box. This was the general reading. I hope this was helpful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are new here, I post videos every day. Hit the like button if this resonated with you. It helps the channel a lot. I wish you all the best and I will meet you at the next reading. Bye for now.